Welcome to another Carvale CXO interview. We're still talking about the life in post-lockdown COVID-19 era. Now, unlike last time where we asked a mass market manufacturer to give us a perspective or to future gaze into what the market's going to look like in terms of sales and what would the manufacturer and the dealer need to do to lure in uh, new car buyers and you know uh, what sort of incentives would they need to give the digitalization uh, that would come into play as well as the finance schemes etc to just make car buying uh, easier than it has been in the past. Uh, this time around we're asking the same set of questions but we're asking a luxury car maker to future gaze into uh, these particular aspects and tell us what it's going to look like and it's not just any luxury car maker it is the biggest most successful luxury car maker in the country hello. time then to meet our guest for today hello i'm martin schwenk managing director and ceo of mercedes-benz india today i'm speaking to carwale and this is take 10 with carwale I think we see a gradual increase uh, in economic activity all over the industry and I would uh, think for us specifically we have now around 70 to 80 percent of our dealers uh, open again. That is obviously the necessary prerequisite. What we see is customers are coming slowly back and I'm sure it will take some time uh, till we have a more or less normal activity in the showrooms. I guess the workshops will be a little bit faster, cars need to be maintained, uh, repaired and so forth, but I'm expecting a couple of weeks or even months uh, for us to come back to a normal operation. Well, I would think uh, for customers to come back, it's necessary um, to have the right offering. For me, that would be a combination of several things. The one hand is uh, offering easy access, uh, that is online, uh, that is also a safe environment in the dealerships. But then obviously it is about the right products. We have a lot of beautiful products and launching continuously additional new cars. Uh, just recently we had launched the GLE, uh, GLC Coupe and now we're coming soon with the GLS. So definitely new products will create some traction uh, with the customers. And then obviously to take some of uh, the churn out for the customers uh, is also helpful when you offer uh, financial offerings. So what we are doing, we have launched our Wishbox 2.0 campaign uh, with that customers have options uh, like three months not paying any EMI or six months very low EMI or even a 10 year, um, 10 year loan contract uh, that can help uh, to make it easier. Uh, to come back uh, and to actually purchase a car. So I think, yes, we need to do a multitude of activities, reaching out to the customers and enticing them and helping them with the purchase. We had already a couple of months ago uh, launched our platform for online sales and e-commerce. At that time, we already planned and spoke about something like 25% of online sales transaction by 2025. I would stick with that number. I believe that is uh, the area we are ramping up to. I can see the current situation has accelerated uh, the online transactions, uh, but I would uh, still think uh, it is something between online and offline sales that will make the purchase happen. So a lot of customers will search not only our offerings online, they will also look uh, into product details, they will gather information online. Some of them will then eventually transact online. We have seen that quite successfully recently during the lockdown period. But I would think uh, there will be a very strong uh, leaning towards physical retail, uh, people coming into the showrooms, uh, doing not only look and feel, but also asking for test drives um, and being present then in our brick and mortar stores. I see both in parallel happening. I would expect there is definitely a change in mindset uh, of the customers. One is, I think, very strong with every customer. Will I be safe? Will I be safe uh, if I go into the, work, uh, into the workshop or into the showroom? Will my car be treated well and will it be safe? Is my interaction with the uh, sales uh, consultant uh, safe? 
So I think that is the first thing that comes to everyone's mind and I can say we have clearly addressed that uh, with uh, having detailed uh, protocols uh, defined and rolled out to our dealerships. Uh, every dealership will do everything that is necessary from social distancing to wearing uh, face masks to having cleaning protocols and disinfection protocols not only for showrooms, uh, the people themselves, but also for the vehicles. So I personally think the risk is very limited and I, I would have no hesitation uh, bringing in my car or going into any of our dealerships based on the protocols we have rolled out and are implemented uh, at present. Well, I mean, changes, um, everything will change, I think, to some extent. We will see a lasting impact, um, which is, uh, we already spoke about online sales and uh, offline uh, brick and mortar activity. We will see that very strong developing in parallel, but we will also see um, that uh, work from home, work from office will complement each other. So it will also remain for some time with us together. Um, so there's a lot of things like that that will happen, but what will not change is that we will continue launching uh, new vehicles. We are not uh, having a plan to change anything in our product lineup. Uh, so for this year, we have 10 launches planned and we'll, we are on track to do that, obviously with some delay. Well, again, uh, I think the, the, the most significant uh, change we will see is the, is, uh, the use of, of uh, social distancing and cleaning and, uh, and safety protocols. I think that is probably the most obvious um, which will happen. And I would also see already mentioned uh, that some of the interaction will go into uh, an online space that is for inquiry, even for consultation. I would want to mention here that we have, for example, uh, the Mercedes-Benz online consultation studio with live uh, interaction. The customers can book a slot uh, via our website and then uh, ask for individual explanation and detailed uh, consultation on any of our cars. So. That is something which we have set up and uh, recently launched. And I think these type of activities will further grow uh, so that customers don't have the physical need to come to the showroom. They will use online consultation, for example. They will get for test drive uh, cars delivered to their home so they can drive from their homes. They, their mind will put it uh, rest by explaining in detail what safety protocols are being implemented. So I think that is a lot of changes that we will see for the foreseeable future. Well, I mean, we already did in the last few days quite a few um, exciting things. We launched two AMG uh, vehicles, the AMG GTR, and we launched the C63 AMG, uh, two, two sporty cars which are really meant to bring the emotions, positive emotions back to the market, basically roaring back to business. We have uh, added uh, two vehicles to our GLE lineup with the 400 diesel and the 450 petrol. And now uh, in a few days from now, we will launch the new GLS, which I'm very sure will find a big audience uh, in the Indian market. Well, I think that's very hard to assess at present. We are all busy to navigating through the immediate crisis at the moment. I would think uh, for us to get out of the crisis itself and to grow back to some level of normalcy uh, does hopefully not take much longer till the festive season. So I hope that uh, with the right product offerings we already spoke about, we should be able to get some uh, momentum and then uh, come September timeframe, August, September, maybe being back into something which is closer to, to a level of normalcy. Uh, past and beyond that, very hard to assess uh, what the overall uh, market will do. It will also de obviously depend on how the overall economy in India is uh, developing. We would see a positive trend there. All prognosis indicates that for the next fiscal year, the situation will be much improving. So let's hope for that. And then I'm sure with all the product launches we have planned and our strong dealer network, we should be able to leverage that. So I would think uh, mid to long term, not such a big impact, but in the short term, the next couple of months, uh, definitely a hit to the entire industry.
We know from other markets that shared mobility is one of the elements uh, which struggles a little bit in these COVID uh, and in the pandemic scenario. We, we know from China, for example, that individual traffic and transportation has picked up. Uh, interest of customers have grown in that field. I could expect a similar trend uh, potentially in India as well. I would though assume that's more on the entry segment of the car market. Uh, for us in the luxury car market, I wouldn't see a really change in demand because of different customer behaviors. Our customers, they love their Mercedes and they purchase them even though uh, they also use shared mobility uh, probably to some extent. Uh, I think overall no huge impact out of the current uh, scenario um, on the market itself and probably very limited impact um, on the luxury segment. Let me start with our EV plans. We don't change our plans. We are on track with all products we have planned for and the first one to come is the EQC. The EQC was originally scheduled to be launched in April. Obviously that couldn't happen and now we have reprioritized but you may expect it in the next couple of months. It won't take too long uh, but we had to realign the timing. It will come. It will come in all its beauty and its force. I'm very much looking forward to that. On the mid and long term, also for our brand, there is no change in, in, in the strategies we have uh, planned so far. Whether it will have an impact in, in the market itself, for me very hard to assess. I think the overall trend into a sustainable uh, drive, into sustainable uh, mobility will not change. And there uh, we talk electric, electrification and obviously also very efficient engines. And there would also make a point that, uh, for example, our diesel engines are very efficient and they will further grow uh, under these scenarios.